Alright guys, so today we're doing our subscriber hunt finally with Javen5221. We had to join a random multiplayer game and I asked the host, I believe I'm going to mispronounce the name and I'm sorry, it's like Djazla the Killer. It's a Dutch name I believe and I can't pronounce it, but thank you because I know you asked about the YouTube channel and if you are watching, thank you very much for allowing us to record this video on your server. I appreciate it. So anyway, we're here on Timbergold Trails and we're going to see if we can get ourselves some mule deer and elk, maybe wolves and whatever else we find. I should mention as well, there is no voice chat uh, that we're using. I'm just going to be typing back and forth. And I tried to get my microphone set up in such a way that you can't hear my overly loud keyboard too badly. So hopefully uh, that's not too much of a problem. I'll try to uh, record as little of typing as possible. Uh, but of course, there's going to be some. So sorry about that in advance. But I tried to get it so it's not going to be uh, too loud. All right, we've got a mule deer buck coming in. I just can't see it. I know it's here not too far away. Oh, and I fell off the rock. <laughs> I'm going to have to crawl back around here, hopefully not spooking the buck. It's not all that big. It was like 80 to 110 score. Okay, it's walking. I'm going to wait till he draws, and then I'm going to hop up so you guys can see it, hopefully. That was weird. He made a good shot, though. Probably because of our not-so-amazing internet. But the buck's down, so that's the important part. I think what I'm going to have to do is back out and change my graphic settings, because I left them a little too high, and I was lagging kind of hard getting up through here. So uh, I'll just do that quickly, and I'll be right back. Of course, you guys really aren't going to notice anything anyway. Okay, we've got a wolf here. It should be coming into the call in just a moment. It stopped behind this tree. And now he's coming in. It's going to be a super close shot, so. Hi there. <laughs> Didn't realize it was going to be that close. I wasn't calling from right there. Got lung blood. It ain't going to go far. Jeez. Did not expect that. All right, uh, we are tracking the wolf, and there's a pretty good mule deer buck right here. So fortunately, with the lung shot, I think the wolf went down before getting close to the buck uh, because it actually ran like right in the direction he grunted from. So Javin's gonna or Javin's gonna take that out. Sorry, I mispronounced his name. <laughs> Trying to keep uh, prone so I don't spook him. So whenever he can get a shot, he disappeared. Oh, okay. I think he lost it in the brush. I was kind of confused there. Oh, I didn't even realize he was right there. I had turned player names off. Perfect place to stop. And a nice shot. Took him down. I got concerned there for a second. There was some kind of glitch that just despawned it for him. I don't know. This guy looked like he might be 200. He had one deduction that's going to make it possibly a bit low, but we're about to find out. 195 exactly, that's kind of cool. Alright, got to go find the wolf quickly and then we'll continue on. Alright, the wolf is right here. Actually, the buck walked right by and I just didn't notice it laying here in the grass. But we'll pick it up and then we can continue on. I want to see how close that shot was. It had to be like less than 3 meters. It was insanely close. I don't know why it went right there, but doesn't matter. We got her down. 3.8 meter shot. That is insane. Skull, shoulder blade, and left lung. So if we'd have had probably the pulser, that might have been enough to penetrate through to the liver and kill it. But Or to uh, drop it, rather. Of course, it killed it. And we will continue now. Uh, heading kind of east, or west, rather. And see what else we can find. Alright, we've got a mule deer doe here somewhere. I don't know where she went. I just heard her trotting a bit. She'll step back out. I'm going to try to take her out just so she doesn't spook towards where we're going. I don't know where she went, though. I don't hear her at the moment. So she either trotted out of hearing range. There she is. Thirty meters. 
And she's going to come back to us since I grunted. That probably wasn't the greatest idea in the world. I thought she was walking at us at first. I think she kind of turned around. But as long as we can make a good shot, it won't really matter. I'll let her come close, actually. Getting nice and close with the animals today. <laughs> Neck bone too and hip bone. That's a bunch of penetration through air pretty much, I guess. Went through the neck and then caught the hip bone in the back. We've got a cow elk up here we might try to get since she's in front of us anyway. Alright, we've got a doe and an elk. I'm not really sure which Javen's going to shoot. I'm assuming it's the elk. And she's down, the uh, the doe didn't even spook. Thought he was going to take that as well. Alright, I knew I heard something else, but I figured we should just take the doe down. And he made two good shots there as well, so very nice. Not sure what spook, but we'll check that out after. Oh, there's another elk over there. A couple of females. We might just ignore them and go for some uh, males, maybe. We'll see, but... Got the elk and the doe, and I think we'll just continue on and leave those elk uh, to live another day. All right, we've got a mule deer doe here. She's directly behind this tree, of course. And we've got a buck grunting. I hope he's actually coming in. It looks like he might be now. So we got to get this doe down. And that's not an angle I really like. Especially with the parker. That's not... Uh, you can't penetrate through the shoulder blade, really. But she's down, so we should be good to go on this buck as long as nothing else comes in. All right, so we've got a doe right in front of us. We're trying to skirt around her because the buck's uh, right up here. He's quite small, but of course, it's always better to get a buck than a doe. At least in most cases, unless you're doing a competition for, like, the heaviest doe or something. I guess that's a reason to kill a doe over a small buck, but... Okay, where is she going? Why is she coming towards us? Go the other way. Oh, there's two bucks. Or is that the same one? Ah, that is the same one. I thought, I thought that uh, stickless part of his antlers, I think. He looked like he was like 120-ish instead of maybe 90 or 100 like he is. There's another doe up there, too. I don't want to shoot because of that branch. I don't know if you can actually have an arrow hit that or not. I thought he had us spotted for a second. He was just grunting. <laughs> All right, here we go. Gonna stop. Perfect. Two more mule deer down. We gotta collect the doe that we shot earlier. Nope, I didn't hit thumbs up. Oh well. <laughs> Got a monster 93. <laughs> and our doe that we had to take just to be able to get the buck. All right, very nice. All right, there's a random doe here that we haven't even been calling for, but... Oh. I don't think Javen knew I was going to shoot that. I could hear him walking behind. <laughs> it's all good, though. Got the doe. She was just in the way. I didn't want her to spook. Otherwise, I'd have just passed on it. Double long shot. We're trying to get maybe uh, two bull elk, or at least one bull elk, maybe to end out this video, because we've got like eight, nine kills now, so we've been having a pretty good hunt, and uh, we've had a nice buck, a couple of uh, other smaller bucks, and had a few cow elk, and one wolf, so if we can get a good bull elk, I think that would be a pretty good uh, look at this whole area. We've got uh, most of the trophy animals of the bottom part of the map anyway. 
All right, we've got a Rocky Mountain Elk cow here. We were really hoping there'd be a bull with her, but she seems to be alone, so when she gives us a better shot, hopefully a closer range, Javen's going to take it out. Yeah, he said he's going to let it get a little closer, so... We'll wait for that. Or not. Looks like he's going for it at 35. And she's down. That can be a tough shot with the Parker because you don't get the penetration. And of course it's like that intermediary distance uh, between 20 and 40. So yeah, it can be kind of odd, but he made the shot, so that's all that matters. So we're just trying to hopefully get like one bull, one buck, something like that uh, to end it out. Because of course we like to end it with a decent animal anyway, but we'll see what we can find here. Is that an animal I'm looking at or just a bush? Ah, it's just some brush. All right. Ah, he seems to see something as well. Maybe not. I don't know. So here is the cow elk. And we will keep on looking for a bull or a buck to end out the video. All right, we've got an elk right here. I don't know who's taking it yet. Oh, I guess I am. And he's down. So I think that's going to be a pretty good way to end the video. Uh, we don't really have any more time anyway. So I think we'll go ahead and grab this guy, take a trophy shot, and wrap it up. 347, that's a pretty solid score as well, so yeah, that's a good way to end. Alright, so I think this is a pretty good trophy shot, so thanks to Javen5221 for joining me today. Also, he does have a YouTube channel, so be sure to check that out. I'll leave the link in the description and an annotation at the uh, end of the video. Thanks again to our host for allowing us to do this. Uh, we really appreciate it, because otherwise we couldn't have gotten it done today. And with that, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Do like if you did, and I'll see you in the next one.